the beginning. Ukraine is effectively a, a failed state swimming in criminality, subsidized by Washington. Uh, we have certainly subsidized the black market on a scale that no one, I think, in Ukraine ever imagined was possible and made lots of people rich. But we haven't changed anything in, in the interest of the Ukrainian people. You're staring at a, fair, staring at a failed state. <clears throat> I think the answer is, first of all, if you look at the map right now, look at the areas <clears throat> where the Russians are in control. Those were precisely what you described, largely areas that were Russified anyway. They were already Russian and Russian speakers. He's going to expand that somewhat more. I, I've always said he will not stop until Kharkov and Odessa, both of which are historically Russian-speaking cities, were never Ukrainian-speaking areas, are firmly under his control. So I think that's yet to come. So I imagine that when you look at the map of Ukraine, it'll be something of between 25 and 30 percent of the territory that was within this Ukrainian state construct, which was always artificial. It was not historically consistent with the people that lived there. And I think he's going to stop because the last thing that he wants to do is to incorporate millions of Western Ukrainians who judge really are Ukrainian. He knows that. Happier with the Poles than they would be with us. Well, it depends on a couple of things. First of all, in today's world, with overhead surveillance, space-based as well as terrestrial, it's quite easy for him between the Polish border and where his, he draws this line for the area that he's going to retain to monitor everything that moves, everything that exists, and target it, which means he can move forward weapon systems that can reach out a couple of hundred, 300, 400 kilometers to deal with any serious threat that manifests itself in those areas. Now, I know he doesn't want to do it, uh, because he'd like to get back to the business of building up the area he currently owns.